Hey, I'm Jake Steinfeld, the Body by Jake. And uh, I gotta tell you, we're here in Marina Del Rey at the Jamba Juice, and we're, we're, we're live. I'm so excited to be talking to Lindsay Nixon because Lindsay is, is, is very quiet. <laughs> She's very shy. And we're going to try to get her out of a shell right now. No, I'm only kidding. The Happy Herbivore. Yes. I love the title, but more importantly, I love your story. Can you just take a couple of minutes and, and, and just tell us, you, you were an overweight kid. I was a fat kid with a bad stutter growing up myself. So, you know, I know that feeling. Mm. Tell, me, tell me about yourself, Lindsay. Oh, well, all my life, I kind of, so I guess going back when I was a child, I remember, I, gosh, I was, I was so young. I was at a pool party, and one of the adults pointed out all of my, my fat rolls. And then finally, I had a serious health scare and was like, I have to make this work. I just, I've got to make it work. And so I cleaned up my diet. I started exercising. I really paid attention to what I was eating. When was this? Was it was it five years ago, ten years ago? It was, was in it? 2007. Okay. 2006, 2007. Right. When you say a plant-based diet, mm -hmm. we all, you know, everyone does the bobblehead routine. Oh yeah, plant. Could you just talk about that for a second? What exactly is a plant-based diet? So a plant-based diet is a diet that only you only eat plant foods. So legumes like beans and lentils, whole grains like rice or quinoa, um, lots of vegetables, lots of fruits. Uh, some people also add in things like nuts and seeds and avocado, but basically it's a plant food. So no dairy, no meats, no um, animal products. So you, you, you now you lost 30, 40 pounds, you're running marathons, mm -hmm. and what happens? Uh, well, I started blogging to share my experiences, like, you know, the new food I was eating and... And this is 2000 what now? Seven. This is still 2007. 2007. So you start blogging. Yeah, okay. so I started blogging. I, blogs were so uncool back then. There were like 12 <laughs> blogs. I mean, I really was like... But who got you into blogging? My mom didn't even read it. No, no, but who got you into blogging? I just, I wanted a journal that wasn't like a paper one. Uh-huh. And so I started like posting the meals I was making, the food I was eating, kind of my updates mm. on um, when I was training for my marathon. And people read it. It was, you know, really exciting for me. And, but is, um, it, is it easy for, for everyone, you know? That's exactly what I was thinking, is I wanted to show people that they could eat healthy, like it could be healthy and fast, that so you can come home from work with your, you know, four kids in tow from soccer practice and like put something together in 15 minutes that's healthy and your kids will love it and put it on the table. And that's, that's what my whole mission was with Happy Herbivore. Because I used to think, being healthy was expensive or hard or time consuming. Right. And it's really none of those it things. Isn't. No. And that's really what I've wanted to prove with my books. What, uh, what are some of the interesting comments that you've gotten from from fans? A lot of my fans, I think it, the overarching theme is everyone is just amazed how like you can take just five ingredients and have just a really great meal. What to be five hard. ingredients? Kids love this is I make these black bean burgers and all it is is mashed up black beans oats, you know, like oatmeal right, oats, sure. ketchup, mustard, um, a little onion powder, a little garlic powder. Anyway, you just mix it all, you bake it for 10 minutes, and you have the most incredible bean burger. Lindsay, so. it's a pleasure. It really is so much fun talking to you. You have so much energy. I've had a blast. And I always end up every show with this. is a little poem that I was given. At the end of it, it says, so stick to the fight when your heart is hit. It's when things seem worst mm -hmm. that you must not quit. Don't quit on yes. you. And for myself and Lindsay Nixon and that cool tattoo. Let me see that. Look at that. The kite, right? That's a really great story you have. We'll, we'll get to another time. Yeah, but, another uh, time. We'll see you next time.